women play an essential and significant role in the economy of the United States, and not just as consumers, but as leaders, innovators, and entrepreneurs. The more than 8.3 million women-owned businesses generate 1.3 trillion in revenue. Women own all kinds of businesses and perform all kinds of uh, good work. Women still make over 80% of the purchase decisions. Their buying power is over $5 trillion. Supporting a women-owned business is not about being politically correct. It's about job creation. Their businesses employ 7.7 .7 million people in the United States. I believe that we're all on purpose. And that purpose, when it comes right down to it, really is, is growth. And we're talking healthy growth, growth that can stimulate the economy. We feel that we can continue to be a significant player in that growth because, after all, it does create jobs. When you're creating jobs in an economy, you're making a difference. We moved out of supplier diversity being perceived as a social program right thing to do and then moved into a realization of the business reason. It has to be about a business strategy. This is an important part of how we get competitive advantage in the marketplace to serve our consumers and customers. We really do view this as a, as a competitive advantage at P&G. When people have jobs, um, they spend more money and oftentimes they'll do it in our stores. <laughs> We have always been committed as a company to the economic development of the communities where we live and work. And I personally believe that no community will really prosper as long as you've got one or more than one groups kind of sitting on the economic sidelines. And so what we've been able to accomplish is, is just begin to change that. Since 1997, the number of women-owned businesses has increased 54% growing at a rate one and a half times faster than the national average. It's projected that their businesses will create five million new jobs across the United States by 2018. Their business starts to grow, and then they're able to create jobs. And employees who now can get better health care for their children, they can better educate their, their children, their family, in reality, they're also a lot of those consumers who buy our products. It's important that you stay relevant and you stay current and you stay and identify what's important to um, your consumers. Recognizing the power and influence of women must be a top priority. The World Bank estimates the earning power of women is expected to reach $18 trillion by 2014. We need to listen, and we need to utilize them, and we need to understand what they're looking for and what they want. Women-owned businesses understand that. They bring us that type of innovation on how we can get the products that our customers want and um, make it relevant to them. They have large insight into what sells in the marketplace from the consumers because they're making the buying decisions and purchasing decisions. They are our consumer base. That's who we market to, and they bring a great amount of innovation. WeBank is committed to enabling the growth and sustainability of women-owned businesses. Their success will result in a stronger economy, job creation, and new revenue channels. By valuing the economic power and influence of women, we all benefit.